Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a pig diamond Jack Sigma gameplay, locking them in, opening the pack, all of that. But before we dive into it, shout out to my guy T for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please bash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Yes, Jack Sigma welcome home it's, it's gonna be fun to use this card because i had a lot of fun using this card in 2k20 and i think he's gonna be a very very fun card to use here in 2k21 now, i think this card is going to be better on next gen than current gen so if you are on next gen watching this video you guys got you guys got something with jag sigma but even on current gen i think this sigma card is going to be very 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 solid but look at jag sigma here he looks like look at the triple c he's looking he's he gonna go crazy for me jack sigma man welcome it's welcome home welcome to the squad putting him in the lineup here look at the jack six sigma 611 230 pounds 93 ball 80 driving dunk 79 ball handle eight and 84 perimeter 94 interior good block steel great rebounder 81 speed and an 84 lateral quickness Tendency wise, 85 driving dunk tendency happened on down to the defensive tendencies here, which are pretty solid. 90 pass interception tendency, 95 contest shot, as well as a 95 block shot tendency. 15 all of famers, catch and shoot corner, specialist, rim protector, box, heart crusher, intimidator, rebound chaser, post move lockdown, tireless defender, hot start, range extender, tireless shooter, as well as Hall of Fame volume shooter. 34 golds, difficult shots, does also come with diver, chase, and artist, clamps, interceptor, moving truck, worm, consistent finisher, pro touch, downhill, needle third, a quick first step, even comes with unpluckable, dead eye, flexible, green machine, hot zone hunter, and gold brick wall. So badges that he needs, there's not much outside of showtime that this Jack Sigma really needs. Looking at Sigma here, and the first thing I'll notice is he does not look 6'11". This dude looks absolutely massive. Now, I don't know why, but he looks, he looks more massive than he is. Now, if you give him a ball handle shoe, uh, let's say you give him that green, the green Kobe's as well as a, a floor general or, you know, coach that gives him that as well. He's going to be able to handle the ball. He's going to be able to peekaboo, do all of that. Now, the one thing I will say about Jack Sigma is this release is absolutely butter. No steady shooter has this base 22 rele or release 22. It's, it's pretty butter. You guys are seeing it. You should be absolutely knocked down with this card. Hot spots from everywhere. And I'm telling you, this card is is absolutely knocked down my word because like with hakeem i'm pretty 50 with ad i'm pretty knocked down but this sigma card's a new level of knockdown like if you want to just guy that can just knock down shots in a pick and pop and don't really care about anything else then jack sigma's your guy but to go along with this he does come with unpluckable he does come with quick first step and he comes with showtime dunks so there is a lot to like with jack sigma now the other the other side to it is you're not gonna find a sigma with extra hall of fame badges so if that's something that you care about right if you wanted an ad with let's say hall of fame showtime stuff like that it's gonna be tough to get a sigma with hall of fame showtime or, or any extra hall of fame badges but there are some upsides to this jack sigma one of them being the hall of fame range that is a big 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 thing for jack sigma the fact that he has hall of fame range is actually pretty ridiculous to think about like the fact that he has hall of fame range and we can go ahead and look at the other hall of fame badges that he has the good thing is he has a lot of hall of fame shooting badges and a lot of hall of fame defensive badges those two things are big for a stretch big and jack jack sigma has really got him as well as the ability to play make make some plays i think i'm gonna like this jack sigma card this jack sigma card quite a bit looking at my opponent here he's got probably a maybe the best starting lineup that is possible that you can make he has Dwayne Wade MJ Kawhi LeBron and AD I have a good squad but man this squad is going to be tough to defend against we're gonna see this Sigma versus AD matchup and just see how Jack Sigma what in my watching I don't know what I just saw in the first possession of the game from this guy but hey he made it work so credit to him We'll see what how Jack my, Jack Sigma is in the pick and pop game. More than anything, that's what I'm intrigued to see. Oh yeah, Lillard to the cup, back to Sig. That would have been a dot for a green. Sigma does move pretty decently, at least early on in the game. He looks pretty decent moving, uh, at least at least vertically, horizontally. We'll see what the lateral quickness looks like if he has to defend anybody on ball. We're fine. Come here. I just need to show off some showtime here. Never mind. I wanted, honestly, a Showtime slam there. Back to Jack Sigma, and he's going to cash in on that opportunity. That's a good shot. He shot it early. Come on, run. Man, 
Imagine. MJ, that's got to go in. You got to green that for me, though, MJ. Good shot, nonetheless. Come on, give me a stop. Oh, yeah, it's showtime. Imagine. Imagine me taking a showtime dunk when I got Jack Sigma from Hall of Fame range. Chill. Let me run. Over to Sigma again. That's green. I'm not greening Ooh. with him. Like, I get it. That's deep. It's Hall of Fame range for a reason. But you've got it for a reason. I got to be able to knock those down. Board, thank you. Up to Sigma. Stop on the break. You know what color. Sigma, I need a green from you. I understand, man. I understand. We're putting you in some tough situations, shooting on the move, but that one's got to be green. The thing is, for Sigma, it's like not every shot he's going to get is going to be a wide open. Like, he's got to he's gotta create his own shot. He's got Hall of Fame range, like right there. That's a good shot for Sigma. I've just, I've not been able to green with him so far in this game. And that's partly my fault. But Jack Sigma, obviously, outside of the fact that he's going, that he does get Showtime dunks, has to be able to knock down those shots very consistently. Look at Sigma attacking Michael Jordan off the dribble. I see you. Chill out. Just back up. Yeah, we just need to chill. Into Sigma again. My possessions aren't necessarily looking good, but at the end of the day, Sigma does have 15 first quarter points. We're there. Good defense. Good defense. Look at Sigma. Good defense. We got five seconds. Up to MJ. Stop on the break. Michael Jordan for three. Can't get that one to go. That would have been a big time shot. Imagine he's not even playing defense on Sigma. You might want to start. He didn't want to start. I guess I'll take a quit at the very start of the second quarter. Sigma had a very quick 17 points. For me, the big thing is, can I start greening consistently with Jack Sigma? We're going to use Jack Sigma here in his triple threat online game. I've got to green more consistently. I, th I don't even know if I green one shot there in that My Team Unlimited gameplay. My opponent here has Sapphire Hassan Whiteside, Sapphire AI, and then, as you guys can see, he does have Dino Raja. So maybe he's just trying to get challenges done with Dino, which if that's what you're trying to do, hey, man, go do go do what you got to do. Uh, is this a bot that I'm playing? We'll see. I literally think I'm playing a bot right now. Oh, well. Whether I'm playing a bot or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is can I green consistently with Jag Sigma? Because if not, that's going to be kind of a deal breaker for me. Because that's what he gives you. Yeah, I'm playing a bot. 100%. This is a bot. He's going to center every... Never mind. I don't know what I'm playing right now. All I know is sick money to green with you. De Look, I, I, I don't know. I've gotten like seven, eight, nine wide opens and not one of them have been green. Maybe it's me. Uh, but I, I have no idea how to green with this card. Like, look at all the opens I'm shooting. That's like my ninth wide open... And I don't know if I've greened one of them. Shoot it. Good shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Up to Sigma. Can I get a green? There it is. Perfect. Green. I could tell that one was green. That one when I felt I felt confident about. Maybe that's me. Maybe, maybe I just need to start acting like Jack Sigma is the man with the plan and then everything will be green. All right. Let's get a nice pick and pop here where you would stop. Hey. Back to Sigma. Never mind. Forget what I said about him being the man with the plan because I just cannot green with him. Physically, it's just impossible. Shoot it. That's fine. Board man. Board man. Yup. Run. Over to Jack Sigma. Set those feet. Get those puppies in order. Jack Sigma with another green light. He has glass cleaning take. I wish he had sharp take, but it is what it is nonetheless. Another possession. We'll, we'll see if can he, if he can green two in a row. Maybe I'll give him some hope. But if he... That's just a tough shot. 12% still. Come on, Jack. Give me a green. Give me a couple greens in a row. This dude is sweating me. There it is. I early with it, bro. It's just... It's hard. I feel like his release is smooth, but it's hard to time at the same time. I know that doesn't make sense. But that's how I feel about it. Like, it's, it's, it's a smooth release, 
but it is indeed hard to time. So I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me because I'm so, so 50 with it. And then he gets a load up. Good Lord, Jack. Sigma, everybody knows who's getting the ball. Everybody knows. But it doesn't matter. Because you can know, but you still can't stop. Oh, I thought he was going to knock that one down from half, half range. Come on. We know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. Yep, we know. We know. Yep, we know. You want to make me sweat? That's fine. I will sweat. Finish him. It's too easy with Jack Sigma. There he does get the the last green light of the game. When I say I was 50 with Jack Sigma, no, I mean it. 7 to 12 from the three-point line. I think I greened four or five of them. Just a very 50 release. All in all, guys, I do like this Jack Sigma card. I do. Like, I, objectively, he is good. But how much better is he than this Dino Raja card? I, that's what I'm trying to debate, really. I don't know if he's that much better than Dino. I really don't. Is he objectively a little bit better than Dino Raja? Yes, a little bit. But I don't think it's that much of a difference. So if you like Dino, just think of Jack Sigma as a better Dino Raja. And that's really all I have to say. That there's not that much difference differential between these two cards. And so for me to say Jack Sigma is worth locking in, He's just not. Objectively, he's just a little bit better version of that Dino Raja card. But to work to lock in all of this MT that my man's T did, probably not worth it. But I mean, you gotta uh, take into also consideration John Stockton is usable, and so is this obviously Jack Sigma card. But drop your comments down below on your thoughts on Jack Sigma. To me, he is just a little bit better version of Dino Raja. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.